In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to flash a stock BenQ drive using Jungle Flasher version 0.1.66 beta. The first thing you need to do is just create a folder on your desktop, name it something like BenQ Flash, which is what I've done here, then start Jungle Flasher. The folder we create on the desktop is what the folder where we will save the dump files to. Once Jungle Flasher is opened, proceed immediately to the MTK Flash 32 tab. There's a number of fields you should look for on this tab. First of all is the port properties, where you can see that the port address you've connected it to. Um, in this case I'm using an NVIDIA SATA controller. Under drive properties you can see that I do have my uh, BenQ drive connected. It's model number VAD6038 with firmware revision 6493OC. Okay, once we've confirmed that, we move straight to the 360 tool section of this tab and click BenQ Unlock. What this will do is send magic keys to the drive to unlock it ready for dumping of the firmware flash. Watch the running log as it does this. You'll see what happens. Right, the drive is now in vendor mode which has changed in the drive properties. You can see that it's a serial flash with status 73. This is what you're looking for. Status 73 is vendor mode. It shows the flash chip size and the flash chip manufacturer, which is MXIC. That's good to go. So what we do now is under flashing tasks, we click read. We'll read all four banks of the firmware and prompt you somewhere to save it. And we save it to the folder we've just created. Jungle Flasher will then ask you if you would like to auto load BenQ iXtreme firmware for the drive. This will happen if you have the hacked firmware extracted to the firmware directory of Jungle Flasher's installation, which I have, so I click yes. What you'll notice now is Jungle Flasher has moved to the Firmware Tool 32 tab and has auto loaded the hacked firmware and spoofed the data from your drive dump to the hacked firmware. If you check under your source firmware you'll see this is the firmware that we dump from the drive. The drive key is present and looks good. The data matches what we saw on the MTK Flash 32 tab when we first looked at it before dumping and it has been spoofed correctly into the target firmware which is the hacked firmware we want to flash. If you look at the running log again, you will see exactly what Jungle Flasher has done. Copied the DVD, DVD key to target, the inquiry and the identifier strings. So we are ready to go. Firstly, what I would do before I flash is um, save the firmware to file, which saves a custom firmware file should you need it later on. Everything looks good, so we proceed to the MTK Flash 32 tab again and click write. As you will see on the running log again, it's writing the four banks of the firmware to the flash and then does a flash verification test, which we can see in the running log, the write has verified OK. So the only other step we need to make is to send outro or an ATA reset to the drive to take it out of vendor mode and return it to normal. And you can see here that that has been successful. The only other thing we need to do now is disconnect the drive and test it with our backups. This tutorial is now over.